Welcome to Sock Puppet Theater. I've decided to go with this medium, meaning the sock puppet, because the sock puppet is more photogenic than I am. Uh, it's also metaphorical, and I'll let the audience sort through how sock puppets fit the theme today. Regarding some of the latest, um, frankly, disasters, and disasters that are slow moving, but disasters nonetheless, specifically of the entire Trump presidency, the latest episode being, uh, among many, the betrayal of the Kurdish people. Uh, this sock puppet holder is somebody who has uh, enough knowledge about the Kurds to be dangerous in the sense that I'd spent four and a half months this year in the Kurdish region of northern Iraq, which is a de facto autonomous Kurdish uh, territory. Uh, the Iraq government has little to no sway there. Uh, itself being, in essence, a failed state. And it's not just this sock that's saying that. It is widely regarded as a failed state um, by most measures. But uh, moving on and back to the main problem of uh, the Trump presidency, uh, and taken from a futurist perspective, in the long run, uh, the Trump administration has done inestimable damage to our international standing and has worked in essence as an agent of the Russian government, a government whose resources uh, in terms of GDP match that of Italy. Uh, and yet now they have an outsized influence globally, including into Syria, where we have abandoned our friends and that is uh, to be noted um, again, all over the world. We are not a trusted partner. Our moral standing is a shambles. And uh, it's uh, going to have, again, long-term repercussions. Um, I don't know if I want to be getting too much into a uh, backstory on the Kurdish people, uh, other than to say that, in relative terms, they are the most American uh, in terms of alignment of values that you'll find in uh, that region of the world. And um, with the possible exception of Israel, although that's also debatable, given their current government. But um, that aside, we um, again have abandoned an obligation and uh, the repercussions are going to be profound. Um, one of the things that we can anticipate is a fight for oil. And I'll put this out uh, just as, again, kind of a wonky uh, prognostication that the uh, oil fields uh, are going to be a flashpoint, um, moving our troops uh, into the Syrian oil fields uh, is not going to be uncontested in my view. Um, now, it so happens that northern Iraq, the Kurdish region of Iraq, uh, is also floating on uh, a vast expanse of oil. And one of the other flashpoints is going to be Kirkuk. Uh, just by way of background, Kirkuk was traditionally a Kurdish area, but under Saddam Hussein, there was an Arabification movement where, in essence, uh, Arab settlers were brought in to diminish the relative numbers of uh, Kurds, the proportional numbers, and to um, situate Kirkuk more solidly into the Iraqi regime of that time. Uh, Kirkuk has since uh, been, to some extent, repopulated by Kurds, uh, it is a center for oil production uh, and a keystone for uh, the possibility 
of an independent Kurdistan, um, providing it with a, an economic base that is not purely based on agriculture or herding. Um, so stand by for that. I would say that in the next year or so, you will be hearing um, words or headlines uh, along the lines of uh, the new battle for Kirkuk and the northern Iraqi oil fields. So um, much more to say on this, but getting back to the sock puppet metaphor, uh, we're all sock puppets to a greater or lesser extent. Some of us just don't know it. Uh, that's where critical thinking and reflection come into play. What is it that is filling your sock with uh, its thoughts, with its information, and where you're getting your beliefs from? Because ultimately, uh, it is a, a relative matter of how autonomous we are as, as a people when we uncritically accept uh, literal authoritarian dictates. Uh, let this be a warning that uh, the Trump administration is working in essence as an agent for Russian interests and for strong men all over the world. Uh, if it isn't clear already that uh, Trump is a uh, an autocrat wannabe, uh, it should be very apparent, and one need only look at the evidence, which is now overwhelming, in his own words, by the way. So, um, I'll just kind of finish up with that and uh, leave it for comments. Thanks so much. Let me know if you like the style of the, uh, of the sock puppet.